In this video, I'm going to create a new test case for the risk controller class that we have. The risk controller class is inside of UI controller package. I can open it up. So I'm going to create a test case for this class. And the test cases that we have are in source test Java. At this moment, we have one test class, which is user service implementation test. And I'm going to create one more for the REST controller. So I'll select source test Java folder and hold control button on my keyboard and create new uh, JUnit test case. At the top here, I have three options. JUnit 3, JUnit 4, or JUnit 5, Jupyter test. So I'm going to use JUnit 5. And the source package for my test classes is going to be a little bit different from the service implementation. That's going to be controllers package. So I'll select the root one and then I will add UI and then controller like this. Just the same package name as we have for the user uh, REST controller class. The name of the test class will be user controller test. And I'll let the method set up be created for me. That's fine. So the class under test is going to be my REST controller. So I'm going to search it. User controller. Here it is. I will double click on it to select it. And I think I'm good here. So I have selected class under test. I have selected one method to be generated for me, the name of the class and the package in which the class under test is going to be located and the JUnit version. Okay, so I'm good to continue. I'll click on next. Now I need to select which methods inside of user controller I'm going to test. So we have user controller, which is a class under test. And now I'm going to select a method under the test. The method under the test will be the get user. I'll select only this method and I will continue by clicking on finish. And here we go. I have a test class with only one test method, which will fail if I run this JUnit test. To write unit tests for my REST controller, I will use exactly the same approach that I used to uh, create unit tests for my user service implementation class. There will be objects that I will mock and there will be objects that I will auto wire and then there will be stub objects. And I will also use Makita to configure method behaviors. So let's do that in our following video.